Welcome to Mrs. Woodleaf's Virtual Art Studio. It's time for art class. Watch this. It's time for art class. This is where you come to create. But to do that in Mrs. Woodleaf's live art classes, we have to practice good manners. Now, if you look at this slide, you see at the top, it spells remote. Remote is how we are learning. We are learning remotely or online or virtually. Under the R, R is for remember. Remember to get a good night's sleep so you are ready. Check your work before submitting. E is for environment because we're working from home. So find a comfy and quiet spot at home. Oh, and no food or drinks around the technology. M is for microphone. Have your mic on mute while listening. And check your mic to make certain it works before the meeting. O is for organization. Have all of your materials ready for class. And don't forget, keep your laptop charged. T is for time. Be on time for art class. And give yourself little breaks and stretches. E is for education. Make comments, questions, and responses in the chat box. All of that means we will be A plus for success. Now this is how you'll see me when we have our live meetings. There I'll be with a backdrop and that might change, but you can see up at the top that is Mrs. Woodleaf's Virtual Art Studio logo. So you will see that often. Also, each time I see you, I'll be introducing a new lesson or we'll be continuing a lesson that we already started. Here is an example of the art assignment for week one. You can see the instructions are on the screen in the center, the one that hangs from the ceiling in my virtual art room. It reads art assignment for week one. Click on any poster to learn about different kinds of art. You can see a poster here, here, and here. All of those are reproductions or copies of famous paintings that are hanging in museums somewhere in the world. If you click on them, they will go to a story about that artist or about that painting or movement in art. Next, click on one or more of the books to learn about the artist. You can look over here to the right and see a bookcase next to the window. It has four books in it. it Action Jackson, Uncle Andy, Roy's House, and Lichtenstein. You can click on all four to view and listen to a story about those artists. Or just choose one. That's up to you. Next, click on Art Supplies. You can see on the table there are some paint sets. Those are the art supplies. So you would click on the arrow or on the art supplies and that would take you to a recorded lesson that I made just for you. All of my recorded lessons are on YouTube. 
so you'll be able to visit them anytime. Last, click on the exit ticket. You may click on the word exit ticket right here on the screen or go over here to the door. You can see that the door has the word exit on it. If you click on that, it will take you to a form will you, where you will respond to the assignments that you've completed, such as listening to the stories about the artists from clicking on the posters or from listening to the book, the read aloud book. So you will do that, and that's important because that is how I track your participation. So each week you will learn, you will learn and you will create art. All of my recorded art lessons can be found on Mrs. Woodleaf's YouTube channel. If you look in the black box, you can see the way it looks at the top of my channel. Or you can just uh, search for Mrs. Woodleaf's virtual art studio. You can see I only have 59 subscribers and I need more. You can subscribe by searching for my channel. You can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe. That would be so great. Now, some of the other things that we'll do during Mrs. Woodley's virtual art class is I will welcome you into the art library. You can visit the art library to learn about artists and their art. You can see in these two pictures above, there are many, many books with recorded read-alouds. You would find the book that you want and click on it, and it will take you to a site where someone will read you that book. So awesome. Oh, you will love this. You can find lots of creative fun on the Game Room channel. And you can see there I am in a game room. Join me in the Art Game Room. You will find the Art Game Room in the tabs on the Game Room channel. It looks something like this. The Game Room is right here on the right. You will click on the picture that will take you to an online art game or a drawing program. It is so fun. I think this might even be your very favorite part of Mrs. Woodley's art Virtual Art Studio. Now, on this slide, you'll be able to click on a word or a picture to learn more about it. You may recognize these posters from the art class back at school. You can see that it's about the elements and principles of art. Remember, the words of the language are the elements of art. And artists organize these words or elements using the principles of art. Another slide that you will get to explore is the Origami Center. You will click on the origami pieces that you want to learn how to make. And when you do, it will take you to a recorded lesson, which you will be, able, be shown step by step how to fold the paper to make the thing that you have chosen. You can pause the video and you can uh, catch up in case you get a little bit behind. You will also be able to click on any of these pictures to learn how to draw them. For example, there's Cat in the Hat. If you click on that, that picture of the Cat in the Hat, it will take you to a recorded lesson step by step, and you will learn how to do it yourself. You can even learn to paint like Bob Ross. Look at those beautiful landscapes. I bet your parents will be very interested in this because Bob Ross is a famous artist who made recorded drawing tutorials and painting tutorials and he taught a lot of adults how to paint beautiful paintings. I think you should try them too because after all you are artists. You can view lots of recorded stories about famous artists in this video library. Oh, here I am down in the corner enjoying popcorn. As you can see, I love watching videos about my very favorite artists. Look, there's one, Van Gogh. 
and Michelangelo, and there's Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, I can't wait to look at all of those videos on the artist. I will be so art smart if I do. So, let's learn about art supplies. I bet you thought you knew everything about art supplies, but when you come to this slide, you can click on each one of those pictures and learn about different kinds of art media. Art media is just a fancy word for art supplies. We may just take a field trip. If you want to, <clears throat> if you want to go to, on a field trip, you would click on an art walk artwork behind that picture of me to visit a museum. There are two museums represented on this slide, the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Museum of Modern Art, both in New York City. If you click on those, it will take you to an amazing kids area where you will learn more about the art at those museums. We will learn about all these artists. Oh my gosh, look how many of them there are. And there are my favorites. There's Vincent van Gogh, there's Matisse, there is um, Picasso. Oh my goodness, there are so many. There's Andy Warhol. Wow, I can't wait to learn about all of these artists. And you will too. Now, when you finish your projects in from your assignments, you can share them in the student gallery. You can upload them yourself by making a post, and if you have trouble with that, you can always email them at the address below, and I would be happy to, to post it on the student gallery channel for you. Remember, this is another way for you to show your participation in art class. I must tell you that I want you to visit Mrs. Woodleaf's blog, and I bet your parents might be interested too. The Alamakani Art Talk is the blog, and it is a blog for parents, teachers, and others who are interested in finding out what's happening in the art department at Alamakani Elementary School, Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. There's the address right there at the bottom. Alamakaniarttalk.blogspot.com. Please visit to see all the things that have been happening recently and in the months past at Alamakani in the Art Program. Well, it looks like we have to come to an end, but it's really not the end. No, it's just the beginning. I can't wait to see you again and again in Mrs. Woodley's virtual art studio.